the general principles are that the less frequently we cut alfalfa up till full bloom, the higher the yield will be per cutting. Dr. Dan Undersander, uh, Extension and Research Forage Agronomist with the University of Wisconsin. The less frequently we cut alfalfa, the longer the stand will last because we can put carbohydrates back in the roots, we have good recovery between cuttings and better winter survival. The trade-off though is, is that as we go to full bloom alfalfa, then the digestibility of the fiber is significantly less and the fiber level is higher, which limits how much a cow can eat and particularly in the dairy industry then limits how much milk she will produce. So what we generally want to do with alfalfa is to harvest at about the bud stage or I would say 28 inches of height and that gives us a very high quality forage uh, of 150 or higher and allows for good feed intake of energy and high levels of milk production among dairy cows. The other important lesson from this is, is that if we're harvesting alfalfa for other categories of animals, then we might want to let it mature a little bit more. To cut at the bud stage or the 28 inch height, we're sacrificing 20% of the yield compared to full bloom. But it's worth it for a dairy cow. We don't see the benefit in a growing animal or in a beef cow, so then it's not worth it. So then we would recommend harvesting those at first flower where we have maybe only a five or a 10% yield reduction and still have adequate energy in the forage for the growing animal. So one height and quality for dairy and a different height and quality for other categories of animals to get slightly higher yield. So a grower has to make a calculation about the uh, the value of the yield per t uh, tons per acre or the value of the quality that is price per ton. Dan Putnam at the University of California Davis. I'm statewide extension specialist for alfalfa and forage crops and cooperative extension. The other factor that comes into play here is the idea that if you cut early for high quality, you will actually hurt your alfalfa stand. You'll hurt not only the yields, but you'll also hurt the long-term uh, longevity of your alfalfa stand. And uh, so uh, we, we generally recommend uh, from an economic point of view that uh, particularly in long season environments that growers allow the crop to go long at least once or twice a year, fully water the crop, let the roots replenish their root reserves, and then you can come back to a, a short cutting schedule afterwards to produce a higher quality product over the season. That's what we call a staggered approach. That is that uh, we know that growers cannot produce high quality every, every cutting of the year anyway, so it might be uh, behoove them to think about this idea of some of the cuttings for high quality and some of the cuttings for high yields. And, um, and then to move their equipment through their fields in sequence so that some of those fields are producing high quality and some are producing high yields. Also the issue is one of, of fall harvest because fall harvest may affect uh, winter kill in many parts of the world and uh, uh, we don't have it in, in the southwestern portion of the United States in, in a, a big way but in many parts of the world alfalfa really suffers from winter kill. So that fall harvest is very very important and that's when the whole concept of of root reserves comes into play. And, and um, actually in the Midwestern states where alfalfa is commonly grown, they really wanna see a long growth period so that those root reserves are replenished before frost comes in. And so that's a real critical period for the colder areas. Uh, less cold areas, uh, we would recommend, uh, for example, in California, maybe uh, one or two long, long periods during the year in a, say, a seven or eight cut system, say June and August. Uh, would be uh, a possibility. Growers, uh, particularly the dairy producers, are producing, are trying to produce higher quality alfalfa, that is lower fiber, higher protein, uh, higher digestibility uh, alfalfa. They're, the most powerful way to do that is to cut early and, uh, and to cut at about 26 to 28 days. Um, and, uh, but if the problem is that you really shouldn't do that every single cutting. You should probably um, uh, do that only some of the time and then allow the crop to fully recover. And what happens with this crop is that, that uh, the, the foliage has to replenish the root reserves, carbohydrates and protein 
to allow that the root to develop fully and also to store up uh, root reserves for the next growth.